Welcome to another quest for metal and welcome to another tier list where we're going to be doing prog metal. We're going to be ranking prog metal bands from basically my least favorite to my favorite on this tier list that I found on Tier Maker. So I didn't put any of these bands here. I didn't know. I mean, I don't know. It's the first time me looking at them because I just did it impromptu. I just clicked it and said, that'll be a cool video. And here we are. So yeah, we're ranking prog bands from Never Listened all the way to S tier. So S is the best, the king of the castle, the prog metal perfection, as it were. And E is terrible. So, you know, E, to, it should be F. I don't know why it's E on this tier list. Let's change that shit. Yeah, no, there's no E in tier list. Fuck that. Right, F, D, C, B, A, and S. Going up progressively better and better. Even if some bands are lower, doesn't mean they're bad. It's just a context of the tier list itself. So don't get your panties in a fucking twist. Because if anything's in D, it's probably still enjoyable. And I probably still listen to it. So with that bitching out of the way, let's get in with the tier list. So yeah, a nice selection of bands I see here. And I want you guys to play along at home. So I'll put the link to this tier list in the description. So you guys can play along. And I want to see your guys' tier lists and what you think are the best bands of the bunch. So, first up, we're starting off with a bang with Symphony X. Symphony X has so many good albums. And Russell Allen is an amazing vocalist, one of the best in the game. I adore, like, I adore pretty much all her albums. The Odyssey, one of my favourites. Um, the Divine Winds of Tragedy, though, oh, that's a masterpiece. Symphony X is going to go high. Symphony X is going to go to A tier straight away. We're going, we're going to A tier straight away for this one. Epic choruses, just epic songs. You know, it's long, it's prog, you, we get that. But come on, the singing, like the kind of power mixed in with prog just makes Symphony X beautiful. I love them. A tier. Near Bliviscarus is going to go up. Um, Do I put it in A? I'm going to put it in B for now. I adore them. Not a lot of albums, but there is a new one on the way. I love the mix of like cellos and kind of like orchestral stuff with the metal. It, it's beautiful. Excuse me. Um, it's beautiful. Um, my favorite is probably the debut. Uh, but I love Earn as well. You can't go wrong with any of their albums, so I am tempted to pump it up. But I don't want everything to be an A tier. We want a kind of separation. So I prefer Symphony X. A bit more. If I'm going to grab an album, it'll be a Symphony X album over a Neable of Scaris, but I adore them. So, no. B tier for me. Very good. Riverside. Very underrated. Very good band. Um, I could put, even put them a bit higher. They have so many great albums. If you love Dream Fitter, you'll probably love Riverside. It's a similar kind of feel. And uh, Rapid Eye Movement uh, It's one of my favourites. It's not the classic that people say, but I still love it. I think it's one of my favorites. Really good singing, really good instrumentation, like kind of a heart in it. It's kind of like Pokemon Tree, which I don't know if it's actually in this list. Is Pokemon Tree here? No. Okay. Well, it's kind of like them. So if you like Pokemon Tree, you'll like Riverside. Really underrated. Love them. They're going alongside Nibble of Scaris. Now, next up, Liquid Tension Experiment. I'm going to have to put in D. Now, bear with me. I love Dream Theater, and they're probably on this list because it's a prog metal list. But I love the singing. I know loads of people don't like the singing of that band, but I, I love the singing in that band. Uh, instrumentation bands, like instrumentals the whole way through, are cool. Cool jams, but uh, it's just not something I listen to. I don't hate it. It's not terrible. It's actually quite good. You know, the musicians involved are amazing. But I don't like jamming that much. So... D tier for me. That's probably going to be controversial as hell, but hey, it's my list. Fuck you. D tier for Liquid Tension Experiment. Sorry, guys. It's, you're still good. Animals as leaders. Same, same. Same, same. They are talented musicians. Don't get me wrong. Love them. The bass work as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. But I'm not going to listen to instrumental music. It's just not something that I want. Like, I'd 100% listen to a Riverside album, Nibble of Scar, Symphony X, way over, way over these bands. For me, my own personal take. If you like them more, good for you. Let me know in the comments below if you do. Arion, epic prog 
power kind of band very cool cool guest spots on this as well i like them the fun the stories are very interesting and cool cool concepts but i don't like it as much as these so it's going to go into c for now but i i do really enjoy them and the concepts and the stories are really cool but is it going to be these I, I don't think so it's on the kind of same level as say a um, what's ed guy's band you know the singer tobias um avantasia it's similar to avantasia i think i might prefer avantasia a little bit but they're on the same level and i love them both but not as much as some of the others cynic we're getting to some death metal now death metal death metal cynic i do like them i do like them um pretty much you know a pioneer of kind of like progressive death metal really cool band i don't know where to put them though because i think i prefer these to cynic i'd put cynic about there i think i prefer them a bit more than arion but if i'm gonna jam to something they're not gonna go higher than near believe or riverside i'm afraid that's not to say it's a c tier band it's an amazing band but compared to some of these other giants it's gonna go into c now dream theater you know i said i love them they're going high they're going to the top of a tier top of a i liked them a bit more than symphony x i know i know it's got james free and i love james free's voice i think it's amazing i've seen them live multiple times always nails it change of seasons is my favorite song of all time no questions so they have my favorite song of all time images and words is one of my favorite albums of all time scenes from memory come on these two are unbeatable mastodon mastodon is a fantastic band as well and i'd actually you know fuck it i'm putting it in a sure they were sludgy at the beginning but i love the sludgy stuff as well leviathan is an amazing concept album i crack that sky oh yeah oh yeah i i got it i love them every album they put out even like the more popular stuff the more catchy stuff is fantastic empress san great the latest one amazing as well pain of salvation now this is going to be the one on the list i haven't listened to i've listened to panther when it came out it was the first introduction to pain of salvation i didn't like it at all put a sour taste in my mouth and i was like i'm not never listened to this band so this is my um question to you guys what's the best pain of salvation album to listen to what's the best one to get into because you know i want to get into them i'm on a quest for metal here so what's the best one because I haven't actually fully dived deep. And don't say Panther, because that one was terrible, <laughs> in my opinion. Queensryche, eh? Queensryche. Queensryche going into C. Low C. For the main reason of the very inconsistent. If we're talking about the best works, they may even be S or A. Yeah, they may even be S or A. Oh, no, I can't put them in C. Mm. See, the first part of their career is so amazing i used to bash on them as well but the first couple of albums are amazing even the ep fantastic so i could put it here and actually because of how good they are operation mind crimes a 10 out of 10 masterpiece classic and i love it and it'd be s tier the rest of them are kind of hit and miss a lot of them are shit and a lot of them you know the later stuff are pretty good but the middle stuff is shit so yeah, I, I'm, I'll put it into B. I'll put it into B. I'll be nice to them because the first couple of albums are that good. Um, you know what? No one C tier. If it's hitting, <laughs> we would going all over the place, flip flopping. If it's hit and miss, C tier. Sorry, Queen's right. Because I just saw Haken or Haken is next, and Haken's an amazing band. Virus Vector, all the old stuff. I love them. Underrated band, just like Riverside. So I'll put them next to each other really classic and if you've never heard of them go check them out one of the best prog bands what like newer prog bands around i love them now leprous is next leprous is a very cool band as well and i do prefer it to a lot of these probably not as much as these three but i do love them um i've forgotten the name of the album with the mermaid and the lemonade tits <laughs> it's a weird album cover but it's bilateral might be bilateral but the first album with the poppy tall poppy syndrome is that what it's called is a masterpiece as well i love the early career 
the later Korea is cool, but it's not my kind of thing. Um, they kind of fell off me a little bit, went too pop, but the first half of the career is fantastic and would be like here. For now, I think I prefer Haken a bit more. So they're going there. Mishuga! More genty, you know, a bit weird for um, Prog, a bit weird for this list. Um, but I do love them. And I do think they're amazing. Um, you know, they've got like a kind of chuggy, like. Just gives you like a headache. It's amazing. Every album is fantastic. The latest one, Immutable, is that what it's called? I've forgotten what it's fucking called. It's amazing. Um, Broken Cog. Yeah. Obzin, one of my favorite albums of all time. My sugar's going here. Not as good as these three, but it's good. Ah, Opeth. Oh, that's F tier. Come on. Opeth's F. I'm joking. Where's Opeth gone? <laughs> Opeth's S tier for me. Why is that, Questy? Oh, it's my favorite band of all time. Maybe, maybe that's fucking why. Every album's a masterpiece. I used to bash on Heritage and stuff because it changed the sound, but now I love it. You know, I love every song on Heritage. I went to see them on the Heritage tour. I got tickets for them soon as well. Yeah, I, I love Opeth. Like, when they hit, they hit so goddamn hard. And every album is just a unique album. Like, Damnation is such a beautiful album. Heritage such a jazzy album. Then you got Pale Communion, a prog rock album. The whole album is Swedish, death metal, black metal. They're the kings of prog. No questions asked. Periphery. <laughs> right. Not a big fan of Periphery. Um, yeah, the vocals, the kind of math course stuff, it doesn't do much for me. I think there's a band which does it a lot better. Um, I can't say that it's absolute trash, though. I'll say that it's on level with the instrumental bands. But I don't really like them. So I could put it at F, but I don't think they're terrible musicians, and i got to respect the music. Um, no, I do I fuck. F tier. Don't like them. Maybe I'll get into them someday. It happens with a lot of bands. Maybe it'll happen with them. But for now, shit is creek. Fate's Warning. Classic Fate's Warning. Classic band. Great early albums. Kind of powery. You know, Awaken the Guardian, stuff like that. Um, I love them. They're classic. And the later albums... Almost as goddamn good. Almost as good. They even have like a proper like doomy kind of depressing kind of albums. You know the one. Yeah, I love them. Great varied discography. Fantastic. Between the Buried and Me is amazing. And I'd probably put it about here. Online with Dream Theater, Symphony X. These are like the big hitters. You know, the big hit. They're not my favorite, but the big hitters like Coma. No, not Coma Copica. Um, Parallax 2, oh, Masterpiece, Colours 2 and Colours 1, so good. The first two albums I'm, I'm a bit air on because they kind of have that periphery kind of mathcore style, or met metalcore style, but the rest of their albums, bloody love them. Masterpiece of a band, they just keep getting better and better as well. A tier. Oh, Gojira is next. Gojira! Gojira is next, and... I'm putting them top of B. They're not quite going into... Hey, come on. Yeah, top... Actually, no, Nebula Scar is better. Fuck it. I don't know why they're on this list. I don't consider them prog. I think they're pretty much death metal, in my opinion. I don't know. But every album is good. Um, my favourite is probably from Master Sirius. I love Flying Whales. Come on, it's Flying Whales, Backbone. That's a flawless album. The others are hit and miss. The first couple are kind of meh for me. Um, the latest album, Amazon, not Amazon, that's the song from the latest album. Um, I've forgotten the fucking name of it, but the latest album, all the tribal one, wasn't a big fan of, to be honest. Um, don't like the early stuff. It's basically the middle era, and I love Magma. I do think that's a good album. <clears throat> but yeah, um, so it's it's when it hits, it hits hard, but. Yeah, Beats here. I've seen them live multiple times, and I've seen them headline, and it was fucking amazing. The drumming by Mario is amazing, so the musicianship is, like, off the scales. And I do love the albums that I love. The Way of All Flesh? Come on. But it's not as good as any of these, so fuck it. Tesseract is an underrated band. Very good. I really do like Tesseract. Um, I feel like I'm just putting everything to A and B. Don't like them as much as Leprous, Hecken, Riverside, or any of these others, so it'd be low B. 
Um, but they are a force to be reckoned with, and I've seen them a couple of times, and I'll be seeing them again soon, so can't wait for that. Really enjoy the band, um, but as good as some of these, mm, not really. Tool is next. Tool. Uh, never heard of Tool, don't know, don't know who Tool are, you know. But definitely don't know who Tool are. Right, so Tool is an S tier for me. It's probably trigger a lot of a lot of people who hate Tool for some stupid reason. I love them, I love every single song. Opiate EP, ah, oh, yes. Um, Anima, if that's how you pronounce it, is my favorite tool album. Lateralis is a masterpiece. Ten Thousand Days, I love. It's a moody atmosphere. And Fear Inoculum, I played to death. I adore that album. Don't know why people say it's shit. They say it's a bit too long. Fuck you, it's great. This is one of those fuck you, I love it kind of bands. You know, can't tell you why I love it. I think it's just a mixture of Maynard's vocals. Kind of like a, almost, it's going to sound weird, atmospheric black metal edge to a lot of those songs, where it's kind of droney, and it's just kind of like, it just kind of gets you in the mood. That kind of edge to it, which I love. Uh, don't quite love it as much as Opeth, but I love it. Um, so, my two S-tier bands, Opeth and Tool, Dream Theater is very close to being there. Very fucking close, but I didn't really like the latest album, I thought it was okay. Um, wasn't a big fan, and I don't like the astonishing that much. I think it's okay. So, but all the other albums I love, all the other albums, even the debut I love. So I can't quite put it to S tier because these two are bands that have flawless discographies in my opinion, whereas the rest of these don't. So, yeah, that is my tier list of prog metal bands. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know down below what's your favorite band on this list. Are you annoyed about some of these placements? Who cares? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below, and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.